you very much. We're here with some of uh, the black leaders of our country and uh, people that are highly respected and people that have done a fantastic job and for the most part have been working on this whole situation with me right from the beginning. Yeah. Yes. And we've done a lot. We've done opportunity zones, we've done criminal justice reform. Yeah. We've done things that people didn't even think possible. Criminal justice reform, we've let a lot of great people out of out of jail. Yeah. 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 Johnson is really a, just such a great example, a fine woman, and she doesn't say she didn't know she made a mistake. But she was in there for 22 years when we let her out, and uh, she had practically another 20 left. She did. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's uh, not appropriate. Her children grew up, her grandbabies. Yeah, no, so yeah. like uh, wow. And you couldn't produce, there's nobody in, in Hollywood that could have produced that last scene of her. That was the real deal. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Of her when she saw her kids. Yeah? Amen. Her Amazing. Amazing. So it's really a fantastic thing. So what I think I'd do is I'd like to, for the media, I'd like to go around mm -hmm. the room and we can do just a quick introduction of each other. And uh, I'll start with me. My name is Donald Johnson. Four more years. Four more years. Four more Great things in store and a lot of uh, interesting times. And you've been seeing the polls. The polls have been incredible. Yes. We've had some polls with. Uh, and I could say black, I could say African American, right. I could say Same. both. Yes. I'll tell you what, the polls are at a level that people have never, I don't think they've seen in terms no. of Republican. Mm -hmm. And I won't be satisfied until I get 100% because nobody has done awesome. more for black people. Awesome. I appreciate we've been in this together and, and uh, what we've accomplished for black people, for the country. Yes, that's, right. Right. Yes. Right. that's right. Has been uh, unprecedented, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Terrence, please. Well, I'm comedian Terrence K. Williams, <laughs> and I am sitting next to the greatest president since <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Angela Stanton King, founder of American King Foundation, recently pardoned by the greatest president. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Sky, Cleveland, Ohio, New Spirit Revival Center, Black Voices for Trump, Urban Revitalization Coalition. I'm a Johnny come lately here, but I believe in what this guy's doing. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm Andre Berto, two-time world champion. I'm here with my man Jack Bruce, yeah. Sports Trump, and uh, here to make great things happen. Amen. Uh, yeah, great. That's great. He's a great fighter. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, it's an honor. You truly are the best president since Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. My name is Mark Little. I'm the chairman of the board of the Center for Urban Renewal and Education, run by Star Parker, and it's an honor to be with each and every one of you. Thank you, Will. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. My name is Scott Turner, and I serve as the executive director for the White House Opportunity and Revitalization Council. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is uh, Rob Smith, America's favorite black gay Republican. <laughs> <laughs> I, came, I had my second coming out a couple of years ago in support of this administration and all the amazing things that happened. So, Mr. President, I'd like to thank you for having me. Thank this. you very much. Yes. Oh, thank yeah. you. Rollins, I have the amazing honor and blessing of serving this president now for two years and focusing on forgotten communities and communities that have never had a shot at the American dream until this man was elected president mm -hmm. of the United States. So it continues Thank to you, be Thank my you, greatest Dan. honor. Thank you. Thank These you. are amazing <clears throat> friends here. So. Morelli. I'm with Black Voices for Trump and Women for Trump, but I just want to say I've taken a lot of arrows for you, yeah. but I am proud to do it because I appreciate everything you have done for the country. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you. Thank you. My name is Jared Kushner. I know all of you here, and I just want to thank you all. Uh, I, tell my, I tell the president all the time how proud I am of the job he's doing, but I want to tell all of you that I'm very proud of you. You've been great partners of this White House. You've come with ideas. You've come with suggestions. And every time I bring these ideas to the president, he always says, 
if these are the things that need to get done, let's do it, let's spare the resource, let's get it done. And what we've done together is we found pathways to really revitalize a lot of communities, but also revitalize a lot of people and create a lot of opportunity for people who didn't feel before. So That's I just want to thank all of you for your leadership in your communities and for helping us uh, work to accomplish what we have under this presidency. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John. Right behind you, I see through all of these cameras, we have one of our great stars. Will you please stand up? Katrina Pearson, Senior Advisor um, to the President's Free Election Campaign. Here in support of all of the great work that uh, President Trump is doing, one of the reasons, and I don't even know if I've ever shared this with the President, that I supported Donald J. Trump as a candidate from the very beginning was because I knew that he would fight for forgotten communities, and I knew that if we had elected Donald Trump as President, we could deliver a generation for black children in poverty. Um, I'm Stacy Washington, and I'm the host of Stacy on the Right, and I've been supporting you from the moment you were the nominee. Sure. And after that, I have been amazed by the absolute way you have, you've banished all of your naysayers when it comes to the pro-life issue, the religious freedom issues, the things that are nearest and dearest to my heart. And we're in my baby feet and then also my defense pen because you're the first president since I've been an adult, I'm a veteran, who's ever said we need to bring our troops home from Afghanistan. And I believe in what it. you're doing. Yes. And I thank you for it. We pray for thank you. you. And we are just ready for you to have four more years. So yeah. thank you for letting me come into the People's House and sit with you today. I'm Evangelist Alveda King, Executive Director of Civil Rights for the Unborn and founder of Alveda King Ministries. People ask me all the time, what do you do for the president? I pray for the president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the other thing is, what has he done for you lately? And mm -hmm. we don't have time. But promises made, promises kept. Absolutely. Saving little babies in the womb, bringing steel mill, mills back, bringing jobs back to America, uh, helping with the economy, reuniting our families, and it, the list goes on and mm -hmm. on. Promises made, promises, promises kept. kept, and I'm old enough to say, I'm 69 years old, mm -hmm. but having seen this, saying I'll do it, mostly with a smile, mm -hmm. and getting it done. So I'm very grateful, and getting that girl out of jail, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I'm not in jail. Pardon, Angela King. Pardon, yeah, yeah, Angela. Your yeah. 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 reference was so important for Angela. Yes, sir. And you told me what a wonderful person she is, and she was there for a long time and was going to be there for a long time. Do you want to mention that? She's pardoned, and the first thing she did, because she cried. I don't remember. Jared, remember, I called one day. I said, they chained women to the bed <laughs> when they're having babies in jail. Oh, I remember. So, so that stopped. And then Angela called one day crying, Mom, the immigrants, the immigrants, but they, they separate us from our children here in America. I said, Jared, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> On the red phone. <laughs> so then the day you called and said she was getting out, I said, Sir, after I get up off the floor, I'll talk to you. So I'm just grateful. I, I, I'll be quiet. That's great. But thank you. Uh, I'm very thank happy you. you told us about it. Thank you. Very awesome. much. Thank you. Jack. I'm Jack Brewer, a uh, former NFL player. Yes. Uh, currently, I'm a professor at Fordham Valley School of Business. I've worked my entire life on the serve black communities, teaching my brothers and sisters from the NFL, now at Fordham, and the inner city doing community work. And I gotta say, Mr. President, uh, I ran the NFL players for Obama. And I'm a, I've been a Democrat all my life. Mm -hmm. I'm a Democrat act. And you changed me. You, wow. you changed me, Amen. you touched me, Amen. and you made my work go to another level. You inspire me, mm -hmm. and every time I go into those prisons and I ask my guys, you know, how many of you have, have had your sentence reduced, and they raise their hand, I know I'm doing God's work. Mm -hmm. So I, I thank you for that. Mr. President, you had me at hello. <laughs> <laughs> started uh, debating and you were talking about you were talking about unborn babies and I saw you championing those babies um, while on the other side which is just like today Democrats uh, they don't want to give any chance to unborn babies at all uh, I, I made a video it went viral I wound up writing a book about what I believed I saw was taking place in our country called why I couldn't stay silent and um, I just continue to be impressed and honored at how much you have stood up to your word 
how much you've done for all Americans and how that's risen, the black community as well, how you champion the lives of unborn babies. And it is a privilege and an honor. Uh, David J. Harris Jr., by the way, I think I forgot to say that, but it's a privilege to be in airports <laughs> and wear my <laughs> I travel all over the country. I love showing folks that black Trump supporters do exist. That's right. Right. And even more than that, it gives me an opportunity. I did just last night in Nashville the opportunity to speak to black folks and Hispanics, but especially blacks. This, they look at my hat and say, why do you support this president? And when I rattle off all the things that you've done and why I support you, they say, wow, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Because they listen to the mainstream media. Wow. So that's why I'm also a news source at DavidHarrisJr.com to give people the real news mm -hmm. and yeah. not the twisted liberal left driven news yeah. that is the mainstream media t of today. It's an honor to Thank support you, you 100%. Nice. They actually saw you walking through the airport. <laughs> Place. Yeah, you know, that is a very famous clip. That was great, but I appreciate it, David. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here's a guy doing a great job. Oh. Yes. Mr. President, it's been an honor to serve with you from the beginning of the administration. You've made home African Americans a priority. You gave me the opportunity to kind of work and do things that I didn't know I could do. Um, but we have results. Yes. We're creating opportunity yeah, now. Mm -hmm. Historic investments in HBCUs, historic criminal justice reform, mm -hmm. historic, historic numbers for a uh, um, black unemployment rate, um, as well as uh, historic investment in some of our most distressed communities. Mm -hmm. We have all the tools to create a renaissance in this country. And it's under your, your leadership. And um, all I got to say is the best is yet to come. Yeah. 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 You knew you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. You knew you could do it. You knew that. Great job. Kareem, the American dream, Lanier. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Revitalization Coalition, I work with Dr. Girl Scott. Mr. President, from day one, go from day one, you've kept your word to our community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've done your job with your policies, with the criminal justice reform, with opportunity zones, with HBCUs. Now it's our job to get the word out about yes, what yes. you've done. That's right. That's, That's right. right. Wow. We have a simple job. You've done the hard work for us. Now we just have to get out and push the message because the mainstream media will not tell the people no. the great things you've done for our community. And we thank you. Oh, thank that's you. right. So it, 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 my name is Derek Radonigo from Houston, Texas. So I want to ask exactly uh, who's been doubling as a influencer because I'm so motivated by this president. That's so nice. Yeah. Yes. Uh, since we're having a competition, one person says 2016, Green says they won. As a kid. I grew up in a different California, Waves. Uh, a Reagan S. California. Grew up in Sacramento. Um, somewhat affluent means in a predominantly white neighborhood. And um, I remember times when there were affluent people white people who would say, Donald Trump, he, you know, he shouldn't be hanging out with Mike Tyson. He shouldn't be hanging out with Don King. He shouldn't be on a plane with Michael Jackson. So the lies that I hear today, mm. they really bother me. Mm. Because the Donald I knew enlightened me that a man of means Come on. could not see color. That's he right. Man, yep. he Come on now. Yes. Give a man a true chance <laughs> to, to show himself, not judge him. That's that right. would make sense me able to sit at this table. I'm not a perfect male. But at the end of the day, I'm still here because I'm that. And I want to thank you for motivating me from when I was a child. And now I sit here all these years later around the table with the man that wow. I knew it. Wow. wow. you, whether it was at Trump Tower, invite people of all different uh, walks of life, from the lowest to the highest in society of every different type of person, and now to serve in this administration, I agree, you are the greatest president and will go down in history as you create history for all Americans. It's hard not to get choked up. My name is Bruce LaValle, and I've been with the president since day one. Yeah. Pastor mm -hmm. Darrell, I love you. Yeah. Thank you for introducing me, Pastor, to uh, uh, President Trump. Mm -hmm. You know, when he said he wanted to defend the babies, I'm a, I'm a rescue baby from an orphanage. 
when this president came out and says, what about adoption? I wonder where I would be, and I wonder what it would be like if, it, if this man was in an office just defending the babies in the womb or someone like me that was left abandoned in a home. And that's very dear to me, you know. Um, I'm one of the largest black-owned jewelry store owners, my wife, that runs it. She's the boss in Atlanta. And guys, let me tell you, it's for the press. I'm just going to, for the record, this president is about to resurrect and restore black generational wealth like you've mm. never seen. Yes, mm. yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay. Not only yes, we correct. talk about building, you know, <laughs> creating yes. jobs in the community, not only we talk about prison reform, yeah, opportunity zone, but how many presidents says, you know, you build the grocery store, you build your business, mm -hmm. you create your generational mm -hmm. wealth, you restore your 401k. Yes. Yeah. The disconnect and all the candidates that are leading in the Democrat Party, especially Biden, are the ones mm -hmm. that started the prison reform bill. He place. sponsored it in 94. Mm -hmm. yes. We're crying out now. No flag on the stage. Where's the flag? For the, where, where is that? Mm -hmm. Thank God we have 100 flags when he's on the stage. That's Thank you, right. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so guys, it, you know, this, yes, he will and is the greatest president for the African-American community, yeah. black community, yeah. brown, yeah. mocha. Give me another one out there. Yeah. 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 I get one yeah. witness out there. Yeah. 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 And, and the other thing, how are you out in the press for 45 years with all these friends traveling everywhere? And I was privileged to travel with them in the beginning, opening the rallies. Thank God for Pastor Darrell, all the things we've been through. Now he runs for president. Now all of a sudden he's a race. How is that? Y'all yeah. know that's a lie. It is. It Y'all need to stop that. Yeah. And I'm Bruce, so he's tired. not colorblind. He I, can see. Albeit, I know that. He loves us. I, I know but that. But hey, color is you, good. You not bad. He can see Jesus gives sight. Because he loves God and he loves Christ, and yeah. that is through him. Woo. Amen. And y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't be afraid to okay, say. Bruce, that's right. right. All 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 right. It, it, it irks me. It irks me when you call this man a My skin crawls right now. I know that's I'm tired of it. No, me too. My about. leg hurts. I got a new knee. I don't feel good. There it is. There it is. All right. We see it. We see it. Leader president. You attack him. You attack him. Second all. Second all. Second all. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You need to know. Now what? Right. I'm tired. Yeah. 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 We all are. We all are. We're all tired. Hey, I love you. Thank you. Appreciate yes. it. Jared, family, we Ooh, pray yes. for you. We yes. pray for your family. Yes. Thank you for sacrificing. That's Guys, right. he's losing money. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. He's yes. the yes. only president yes. that, that comes to the all and loses money. Mm -hmm. Everybody yes. else that serves makes That's money. Right. Yeah. He yes. loses money. And everyone knows that serve by all of us who serve at the pleasure of the president lose money. It doesn't matter what level you're at. Don't forget that. There is no pay to play. There is no special interest. There is nothing that he owes anyone. I will run for president and I will not take special interest money and not be beholding to anyone except God. And he did it! You maximize your money. I will say this. You maximize your money. I do lose a fortune being president. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're doing very important. Yeah. We go right. too far back. And you know, something I, I don't talk about, but uh, I give my salary. It's $450,000. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. And surprisingly, now, it may be back in George Washington's day, but they don't think any other president has ever given the salary. It's $450,000. Wow. wow. No, mm -hmm. it's money. Mm -hmm. yeah. It and is given, money. It's money. I never had a story. I don't think I've ever had a story that I give it. But I guarantee if I was ever late, mm -hmm. it comes in quarterly. Mm -hmm. If I was ever late, it would be a front page story. It sure would. Yeah. Yeah. It sure would. Wow. He's keeping and to the, the best of no our friend. knowledge, we have not found another president that gave. But I appreciate what you just yes. said. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Paris Denard. Mr. President, thank you for appointing me to be a commissioner on the White House Goals yes. Commission. Um, serve on Black Voices for Trump and the advisory board. Um, work for a third Marshall College Fund, which represents the publicly supported historically black colleges and universities. And sir, uh, your first Black History Month uh, celebration event, it was a small group of us who came to the White House. We met in the uh, Roosevelt Room. Dr. Scott was there. Ron was there. And at that, uh, that meeting, I told you that you could you have the potential to go down as one of the greatest presidents for the black community. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't know if you were going to be able to do it, to be quite honest, because there's a great challenge 
moving, moving from campaigning to actually governing and being the president. That people can talk about all the things that you promise on the campaign trail, mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter. The things that matter are the things that you've actually done mm -hmm. in your position as president. <coughs> and for the black community, sir, you are changing lives. Yeah. You are changing lives for yeah. generations. Yes. There are Man. thousands of people, millions of people out there that will never get a chance to meet you, but they meet us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They see us, and they tell us all the time how appreciative they are, yep. and their minds are opening. The things that Candace is doing with Lexington, and everything that the campaign is doing with opening up these centers that are going to be in dozens of cities across the country, it's because you are leading by example. Yes. Yes. You're changing lives for the better. Mm -hmm. And I am so proud, and I'm honored, to defend you, to support right. you, because it's easy. Yeah. It's yeah. easy yeah. because the policies yeah. are making a difference. Yeah. So yeah. on behalf of the millions of black people that will never have this tremendous opportunity like yes. we've been given today, I want to yes. say thank you from my family, you from my friends, thank you for what you're doing because yes. you are changing lives. And yes. in Black History Month, we are here to celebrate black history, but we're also here to celebrate the fact that we have a president who's making black history. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Candace Owens, according to the New York Post, I am Democrats' worst nightmare. I take great pride uh, in being that. Uh, my, I obviously run uh, the Blexit uh, organization. I started the Blexit movement um, because I really just wanted to develop a route for all of the black Americans uh, to follow me away from the liberal ideas that I espoused in my youth. Um, I honestly, I know people are hitting at the mainstream media, but I gotta tell you, I thank you all for waking me up. Uh, for calling everything racist to the point that it made no sense and I had to start digging uh, because every single thing the man said couldn't have possibly been racist if he had been loved and celebrated for decades. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so it is thanks to the lies, it is thanks to the left constantly overplaying their hand um, that so many black Americans are waking up today. Um, there's a fatigue setting in. Uh, we're genuinely just tired of, of being uh, told that everything is racist and mm -hmm. everything around us mm -hmm. is white nationalism and white supremacy. Mm -hmm. You may have seen me testify in Congress yes. against the absurd hearing of Democrats pretending to care about what's hurting black America at the same time that they murder millions Ooh. of our babies yeah. 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 at the same time that they remove fathers from the home systematically via yes. their welfare policies right. that they established right. at the same time that they incarcerated our men yeah. for decades. Mm. Um, so mm. what I say to you all is thank you, keep going, um, uh, and uh, we will meet you at the finish line when we've uh, cracked the black vote. <laughs> Diamond with diamond and silk. And Mr. President, there are those that write history. There's those that read history. And I want you to know that you are making history. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. I need you to understand that we not new to this, we true to this. Come on now. From day one. Yep. Day one. We have been on your side and yep. we've never left it. Yeah. You know, I keep hearing the left talking about they are champion for this and a champion for that. Well, when is a champion going to win? Because they ain't winning. No. Right. Come on right. now. Come on. But we done I, already found a champion. A, yeah. 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 a true champion. Yeah. 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 Right here in our president, President Donald J. Trump. Right. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, first of all, for making Diamond and Silk famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you all two things. <clears throat> first of all, the first time we met him, he brought us on the stage and we didn't know it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. And the first thing that this businessman billionaire did was looked at us and said, I hope you monetize in this. Yes. Wow. wow. Now, wait a minute, you all. Wow. 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 This billionaire businessman who happened to be white. I ain't never had a black man come up. Mm. Mm. That's true. Obama yeah. didn't come and say, hey, I hope you monetize it. You couldn't have been sitting at this table up under an Obama administration. Yeah. But here we sit here up under a Trump administration. <laughs> administration. This is a true champion. <laughs> now, let me say one more thing, because I can talk forever, then I'm going to let it go. President Trump is not a racist. No, he's mm -hmm. not. No, no. What on. he is is a realist. Mm -hmm. Yes, and right. The only color he sees is green. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he's going to have some up. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
yeah. because he's very patriotic. He yes. loves yeah. this country. Mm-hmm. He loves America, yeah. Yeah. and he loves yeah. Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Here's my last thing. I want everybody to make sure that you vote right so you won't get left. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> vote red. R-E-D. Remove every Democrat by yes. voting them out. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wow. I'm silk with diamond and silk. And I'm usually the quiet one and the silent one, but you know silent can be violent. (laughs) Allow me to say this first. I want to say thank you for allowing me, as a black woman, a seat at the table. That's right. You know, because this would not have happened under Obama administration. It happened under Trump administration. This is true. You know, they always say, Mr. President, that, well, he's a little rough around the edge. But I always reply back and letting them know that we need those rough edges Mm -hmm. to cut through all of the BS that be going on on the Hill in Congress. Mm -hmm. We need somebody that's not going to go along just to get along with Mm -hmm. some smooth edges. We need somebody that don't have a problem with going toe to toe against the status quo. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that's exactly what you did, Mr. President. We're in the middle. Diamond and Silk is in the middle of writing a book, Uprising, The Awakening of Diamond and Silk. You know, when I, while we're writing this book, there's little things that's coming back to us because we've been in this since 2015 mm-hmm. yeah. from day one. Mm-hmm. And when, as we're writing, I'm looking at a lot of different things. Mr. President, we've come a long way. Yes, we have. A long ways at winning, winning, That's and right. winning. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you know what? They say the, they sing the song, I don't feel no ways tired. Yeah. But I haven't got tired of winning. <laughs> I love you from the bottom of my heart. Yes, and November the 3rd, 2020, you will be the president of the United States. Yes. 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 You know, uh, my wife, the First Lady, said, this is a long time ago now. It's like four years ago. Five years. Yeah. She said, uh, there are two people that she was watching on the internet. They're the most incredible two people she's ever seen. Wow. I said, big deal. What is it? Now she said, you have to see this. And I saw I guess, for almost five years. And I watched them, and they had such a spirit. Mm -hmm. And they were for me before I was even running. (laughs) 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 They were so early. Mm -hmm. And you have been such great friends. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And Candace, I I will say that you're another one. She saw you, too. She said, I just saw somebody with the fastest, sharpest mouth <laughs> and mind, by the way. You know, I know a lot with fast mouths, but they don't have that. And uh, I said, let me take a look. And I looked. Yeah. And it was a long time ago already. You were really young. You're young. You were really young. But we appreciate it. We appreciate everybody in this room. And people have made such progress, and we're making tremendous progress. You know, something that happened recently that the press doesn't write about, but uh, every year, a group of wonderful people from the black colleges and universities mm-hmm. would come up to my office, a lot of people, 40, 35, 50 one year. And after the second year, I said, how come you keep coming back? Mm-hmm. And they came back for money, they mean money. Mm-hmm. And I said, why do you have to come back? Other colleges have money, you don't, do, you don't come back every year. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of the gentlemen, who's a great guy from one of the schools, good school, very good school, he said, we come back because we have to, because we need money, and we come back, and other schools don't have to, because uh, they want us to come back every single year, they want us to beg. He used that word. They want us to beg. And I said, because I was straight, you know, the first year they came, and I didn't think anything unusual, the second year, and they come into the Oval Office, and a big group, I heard of almost every one of the colleges Mm -hmm. and universities. And after the third year, I said, you know, you shouldn't have to be coming in. Well, I'll miss you if you don't come, because they're very good people. I said, you should have a long-term deal. You shouldn't have to come back here Mm -hmm. like this. It's demeaning to you. Mm -hmm. He said, it is. We love being in the Oval Office, but nobody's ever had us in the Oval Office before. But it is demeaning Mm -hmm. to us to come back. And we just passed 
pay bill yes. where they're all set. Yes. They got the money yes. and it's long term. Mm -hmm. yes. They don't have to see me, I'll miss them. Yeah. I'll miss them wow. and they'll miss me. But yeah. you know what, now they're all set and they have a long term future. They were Thank saying you. things like we can't even fix up areas even if we have the money. Right. Because we're not sure that the next president wow. or even right. you mm -hmm. are going to approve it next year. Maybe wow. for some reason you're not going to approve it. So that's one thing. And you know, you've been hearing all about this and they're very, they're a big heart of this nation. That's, mm -hmm. They do yes. a fantastic yeah. job. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I got to know a little bit and I said, so we're going to fix that up for you and we're going to do it. And we did it, I don't know what the length is, but it's very long term. Ten years. It's ten years. So for ten years. The future act. So I don't know where I'm going to be in ten years. I probably won't be seeing them. But, but it was very, I thought it was very unfair. Now the press isn't going to write that and they're not going to write a lot of the things that were said in this room today uh, because they just choose not to. I don't know why they choose not to. Uh, but so many nice things were said. We have tremendous media in this room. We have tremendous media no matter where I go, I guess. And I can honestly say that's been true before I was president too. So I don't know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Someday somebody will explain that to me, but that's what it's been. I guess that's how I got to be president to a certain extent. That's right. But they don't explain those stories. They don't explain opportunity zones. Where Tim Scott mm -hmm. from South Carolina, he'll be with me. I'm making a speech tomorrow, rally and sells out immediately. We have tremendous popularity in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down. Some people have said I'm trolling the Democrats, and maybe I am. Yeah. Colorado, we did it in, uh, you know, in New Hampshire. We, no matter where we go, yeah. Yeah. Iowa, no matter where we go, we have uh, much bigger crowds. If Mm -hmm. One of the uh, Pocahontas has 2,000 people. Mm -hmm. uh, 2,000 people. There. Oh, what a crowd. And I'll have 15,000 people inside. And I tell you, you saw Colorado. Yeah. We had 20, 25,000 people outside. Wow. Outside. People inside. Right. They right. don't say anything about the crowd. And the cameras don't cover the crowds. Wow. Right. My wife said, how, uh, how was it tonight? I said, Great, didn't you see Jeff? He said, I heard it. Mm -hmm. But they never go around and show the That's stadium. Right. They That's never true. do. So we put it on the internet. That's a great thing with the internet. Yeah. Yeah. But as she said, but as I said, you can't disguise 25,000 or 15,000 or whatever it is. Yeah. You can't disguise that. Right. Because when you hear that sound, it sounds like an Ohio State football game That's or, right. yeah. or an LSU or Alabama That's football right. game. Yes. So it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. But they don't talk about it. And yet, when a Joe Biden, um, not sure what's happening. Yeah. Oh, well, he has <laughs> about, if he's got a crowd of, a small crowd, just a small crowd, 15. they'll talk about how magnificent mm -hmm. it was. And yet we'll have 25, 30,000. We went to South Jersey and they actually reported it, which was shocking. Mm -hmm. We had 175,000 requests Ooh. for tickets. 175,000. Wow. And South Jersey is closed during the winter, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, people are opening up their hotels, they're opening up their homes. Wow. But we had 175,000 requests for tickets. Wow. And the place was just swamped with it tons of thousands of people outside. And they don't want to talk about it. The whole thing is sort of crazy. And I don't get it because it's so good for our country what's happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. And whether it's black or white mm -hmm. or any other group, Asian, because you see what's happening with Asian, you see what's happening with Hispanic, yeah. the best unemployment rates mm -hmm. for every group. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every group. But That's very important for, the, for black, the mm -hmm. best unemployment we've ever yes. had. Yes. So we see the poverty numbers, uh, the best we've ever had, the best we've ever had for a number of groups. But uh, black people right now are having the best, statistically the best numbers that you've ever had. And it's really an honor. Uh, we have a situation with the virus. We've done a great job. And the press won't give us credit for it. We have in a world that has some big problems, you look at China and you look at uh, industry between the two countries and I did something that had never been done before because it had never been done before yeah. I closed our borders to certain areas of the world mm -hmm. yeah. I won't be specific because it's not nice to be you know specific but you understand where mm -hmm. and I closed the borders to certain areas of the world very early we'd never closed the border before we've never done that before right, right. and flights 
coming in mm -hmm. and people coming in. Yeah. Because they had a very early problem. And I closed them. I took a lot of heat from the Democrats. Mm -hmm. They said, what's he doing? Because anything I do, they'll do the opposite. Mm -hmm. yes. Like with the wall. We want security in our country. Yes. If I yes. would have said, we will not build a wall, they would have been yes. 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 And I should have done that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is that I get covered live all the time. Yeah. I like that better because yeah. they can't chop it up. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather be alive. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a very good press conference. And basically, it was a calming press conference. It was a conference to say we're doing well. It was a conference where I took out these statistics, which were recently done from Johns Hopkins, which is one of the great mm -hmm. places in the country, where it says the United States is the most prepared nation. Yes. Think of that. Country's yes. best prepared to deal with a pandemic. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So this was done wow. by John yeah. Hopkins. Amazing. 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 No Second is United Kingdom, then the Netherlands, Australia, Canada, Thailand, Sweden, Denmark, South Korea, Finland. Okay. So this is it. We're number one. We're number one. Yeah. And then the Democrats go out. I see Schubert going out and these guys. Just a talking point. Uh, frankly, I may do it if I was them, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been known to do this. Too. And they ask you, how's he doing? Terribly. He's doing terribly. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. And I did say yesterday, first time, because I understand politics, I think I'm pretty well. I've only been doing it for a few years. And I think to the best of my knowledge, we're in the White House, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But I know politics. And, you know, politics is fine. But when it comes time to talk about pandemics or whatever you may want to call it. Mm -hmm. You gotta get away from politics. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and the Schumer's crying Chuck and all these people, they can't Nancy, you can't go out and just say, terrible, it's terrible. We're doing yeah. incredibly. Right. Think of it. We are fifteen people mm -hmm. out of billions of people. Yeah. Yeah. Fifteen people. Yeah. They're getting better. Mm -hmm. And soon they're all gonna be better. Hopefully one is in very serious shape. And we understand that and we understand it very well. But but uh, we also have the other group, and they're all getting better. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an incredible achievement that our country's done. And, and yes. one thing I have to pay tribute, we have, whether it's Dr. Fauci, we have the best people on Earth. We have yes. the most talented people yes. on Earth. Yes. We're giving whatever other countries need. We're helping them. Sometimes it's over phone. Sometimes we're sending people. Mm -hmm. But. We have to run our country, too. Yeah. Yes. A lot of people say, why isn't he in China? Well, you know, no. China has to want that. Yeah. Yeah. And other yeah. places have. But they're running it, and they're working very hard, I will tell you. And we're in very constant communication, President Xi and myself. Very, very constant. But we are doing it. And by the way, their numbers seem to have maybe they look like they're coming down, which eventually, that's hopefully, that's, that's what's supposed to happen. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's gone to other places, and those numbers will come down. We've done an incredible job in this country, and the professionals, and me, but forget, I, I did one thing that a lot of people disagreed with, including many of the professionals, closed the borders, because they said it's too serious a, a move. Yeah. It took tremendous heat, tremendous heat. It was called everything, including David, racist, okay? I was called everything. And for a while I said, maybe I shouldn't have done that. And now it turned out to be great because mm -hmm. we have so That's few right. people you. that Thank have been affected. But, yeah. but I just think it's really important for the media to report stories <laughs> accurately. That's yes. Right. Yes. Yes. And they don't have to go overboard, mm -hmm. but I tell you, they shouldn't go overboard the other way because mm -hmm. they are trying to build this up yep. and they are doing things and saying things that are absolutely crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And they are really hurting our country, the yeah. fake news media. Yep. And it's not all fake, but it, much of it is. Mm -hmm. And they have to cover this very accurately. You know, it's different than covering other things. Uh, this country is doing great. We are in a position that few countries would be in. And if we didn't have the talent running this country, and all the way down from top to bottom, mm -hmm. the job that these doctors have done, the oh, job yeah. that the professionals mm -hmm. are doing, and we're working with local hospitals, we're working with the states all over the country, and you know, I got criticized because I said two and a half billion, that's a lot of money. See, two and a half billion dollars, a lot of money. Yeah. And the Democrats said, how dare he only ask for two and a half billion? This never happened to me before. Usually I ask for two and a half billion, they say, we're gonna give you 10 cents. Yeah, yeah. 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 I asked for two and a half billion. My people came, this is what we need, two and a half billion. I said, that's a lot. It's a yeah. lot of money. Because yeah. you know, if you're in business, you say two and a half billion. Mm -hmm. What I can build for two and a half billion, what I can do for that, Denise. Yes. So what happens is, uh, humor says, he needs eight and a half. And you know what I said? I said, I'll take it. You want to it? <laughs> I thought, you know, I'll ask for a lot and do I get a piece? So they criticize me because they say, two and a half billion dollars, he needs more. What they should do is say, why does he need so much? Yeah. But they don't say that because they have inverse thinking. Mm -hmm. But the way they make you look bad is to say, how dare he only ask? Think of that. How dare he only ask for two and a half? Oh, 
We demand that he take eight and a half. Yeah. They're ridiculous. Oh, they they, 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 they want to give it. This never happened to yeah. me before. Yeah. All my life, I ask and I get a piece of it. Right? <laughs> but the Democrats are screaming, how dare he do that? And they're not doing a good job. We're doing a great job. While they're working on impeachment, we were working on doing this because we were hearing about it. While they were wasting the country's time and the world's time, yeah. talking about the impeachment hoax, yeah. and they got shut out except for one very foolish, frankly, not a very good senator. Right a man who got in on a false premise, and he's not very popular in his own state. No. And I guess I got half of it. I say 52. We got 52 and a half out of 53 votes, right? Yes. But uh, he's not a very popular guy, I can tell you. A lot of people aren't liking him too much. Uh, and he shouldn't have done what he did. Right. But right. we did nothing wrong. So we had to work through a, an impeachment hoax. That's what they were doing. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we had already started preparing because we started hearing rumors. Mm -hmm. We are so prepared like we never have been prepared. Mm -hmm. Now, they'll come up with a certain amount of money. Whether it's two and a half, I'll be satisfied with that. Whether it's eight and a half, we'll take that too. And we'll have a lot of money left over. We'll do a great job. We'll probably do about the same job. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just want to say, this is really above politics. Yes, they have yes, to take it. Yes. It's easy for you know Schumer. What kind of a job do you think they're doing? Yeah. He should say they've done a great job. He should. Yes. And you know what? He'd actually pick up votes. People wouldn't respect him yeah. for that. Right. And said, what kind of a job? They're doing a terrible job. He has no idea. We had a trade deal. I talked about it a little bit yesterday. A phenomenal deal with China. Mm -hmm. Billions and billions of dollars of, of worth is going to come into our country. Billion, many billions of dollars. That's a great deal. Mm -hmm. And they went to Schumer and they went to others. It's talking points. They went to the Democrats and they said, what do you think of the, oh, it's terrible, terrible. They didn't even know what the deal was. Wow. In fact, he said, they took off the tariffs. They didn't want the tariffs. Now I put the tariffs on one. He thought I took them off. We didn't. We have 250 billion. What? <laughs> we get 25 percent on 250 billion. Then we get more about that. Wow! Uh, and I left them on. People said that's amazing, mm -hmm. but the Democrats didn't know that. They said he took off the tariffs, and you know what? They got killed. But the press doesn't report that. Yeah, right. So the natural instinct, and, and again, I should say, I do it too. They'll ask me, and you know, you do it. To, I guess it's a natural political instinct. Mm -hmm. But when they say, "What kind of a deal is terrible, terrible, terrible?" <laughs> and people get it. But with what we're talking about now, with the virus, we can't do that. We have to right. do it differently. Right. If we're doing a great job. We should congratulate these Absolutely. professionals that are the best in the yes. world. Yes. Yes. And you know what? If we were doing a bad job, we should also be criticized. Yes. But we have done an incredible job. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear. One day it's like Thank a miracle. God. It will disappear. Yes. And from our shores, we've, you know, it could get worse before it gets better. It could maybe go away. We'll see what happens. Nobody really knows. The fact is, the greatest experts I've spoken to all, nobody really knows. But. Uh, we have done, and our professionals have done, a fantastic job. Yes. We're working with other countries. We're trying to help some other countries. A couple of them have gotten hit pretty hard. South Korea and Italy in particular, mm -hmm. they've been hit pretty hard. Mm -hmm. uh, and it'll all work out. And uh, I just want to thank all of the people that have worked with us in government and some of these great professionals because they have been incredible the job to think of it with all of what you see going on 15 people we brought in the others but and they're doing great but 15 people is almost i would say a miracle yes. also yes. what i want to do though yes. is you. i want to thank the black people of america yes because yes. frankly yes. You people, what you've gone through over the years, mm. yeah. and now you're making a comeback like mm. you've never. And I had a phrase. I had a phrase yeah. during speeches, Thank during God rallies, God. and I'd use it whenever I saw, whenever we had a lot of black people in there. Okay, and I have to say, yeah. I'd go through a list. You had the worst crime. Mm -hmm. You had the lowest housing ownership. Mm -hmm. You had, and I'd read 10, 15, 20 points. And look, a couple of them, NBC just left because they don't want to hear this. Oh, wow. <laughs> just, uh, wow. She just left from NBC because it's owned by Comcast. And they're the racists. Because yeah. they're yeah. That's right. As I'm talking, I'm looking at her. She's not writing anything down because she knows she's not going to report any of this. Uh, she only wants to report something bad. And there's right. nothing bad mm -hmm. in this room. No. What's going on in this room is incredible. It's yeah. amazing. But, it's but amazing. When you look, when you look at what's happening, and I used to use the expression, what do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. It was much more effective when I said, what the hell do you yes, have to yes, lose? Yes, which yes, I did yes, a lot, yes, but some yes, people yes, said it's a bad word, okay? If somebody else said it, it's okay. Yeah, if I say it's a bad it word. Yes. But it was much more. Yeah. 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 But I said, I said, what the hell? They talked about 
you have tremendous crime, mm -hmm. you have tremendous mm -hmm. lack of ownership, yep. the worst schools, the mm -hmm. worst this. I read like, right, 10 points. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And one day I'm saying, you know, I had that on a teleprompter, which is always a little boring, but here I'm reading these points, and I'm looking at the audience, I said, it wasn't like written, I right. said, the Democrats have ruled mm -hmm. for 110 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have all these horrible statistics. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. I said, vote for me. What the hell do you have, have to lose? Yeah. 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 You know, I came off the stage, yeah. and my people said, sir, that was quite disrespectful. <laughs> 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 wow. We heard it was the truth. truth. Yeah, it's not disrespectful. So what do you have to lose? So now you look what Tim Scott's done, yeah. what yes. the Opportunity Zones. I mean, those Opportunity Zones are incredible. Yes. Your colleges and, and universities, we just yes. talked about. So many things. But criminal justice reform. Yes. Yes. This guy yes. walked. Yes. 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 People could not get it approved. Obama yeah. couldn't get it approved. Mm -hmm. right. And nobody could get it approved. Mm -hmm. And I had to call in a lot of chips because we needed some very conservative Republicans mm -hmm. to get this approved. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yet we had some very, we had Mike Lee, we yeah. had Ted Cruz, we had mm -hmm. guys that were yeah. already onto it. It's one of the mm -hmm. reasons I said, whoa, but Chuck Grassley was already there. Yeah. And I said, that's incredible that you had some of our toughest, most conservative people already there. And I was able to get other people, plus we were able to get it through. Yeah. And it was a great achievement, and I want to thank Jared because Jared yeah. came yeah. Yeah. Good job. Good job. I tell you why people tend not to do things. Uh, normally, people would be happy with that, and and the people that know are you know better than anybody, Alvita, because you are sitting next to us. Yes. Yeah. 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 But thank God. But thank God. And you heard the story, maybe Van Jones was in my office, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. almost in tears, and he was actually in tears asking for help. And I think mm -hmm. that's good. I think yeah. that's yeah. noble and yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. Right. And he was there because of Jared. Yes. And there was a group and they were saying, it's dead. We're five short. Mm. And a couple of the ones that were not against us, we're going to delay the bill and then it goes to a sunder, right? Yeah. It goes yeah. to yeah. Issues. When you delay it for a period of time, it's, you know, they were going to do things. To delay it very easily to do, very easy to do. Mm -hmm. I got them to be good. Didn't get their vote, didn't need their vote, but they were great because yeah, they didn't delay it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they were going to filibuster the bill. So mm -hmm. it would have gone on and on, and then it would have just gone away. People say, hey, everybody has to go home. We have to start this again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't do that. They were great. And we got the votes necessary. We got it done. Nobody else could have done it, in this case, but me. Yeah. Nobody else could have done yeah. it. That's right. And Jared came in, he said, you're the only one. And I got it done. He yeah. felt it was so important. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, was, yeah. I was getting mixed reviews. Now, I'm getting tremendous reviews. By yeah. Some of the people that didn't vote for it, they're saying, I wish we voted for criminal justice yeah. reform. Mm -hmm. yes. So Van Jones is up making a speech. I said to my wife, come, this will be very nice. Look, yeah. <laughs> he's on MSDNC. Oh. 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 Right? Did you ever hear that one? Yeah. 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 No, it's a natural, right? Yeah. 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 It's a natural, the worst. I mean, these people, yeah. I'll tell you what, NBC is worse, in my opinion, than CNN. Yeah. They're oh. worse. Wow. They're absolute yeah. bad people. Yeah. And they paid me a lot of money, and I made them a lot of money with The Apprentice. They paid me a lot of money over the years. And I can't believe it. They're just bad. They're bad people. They're really bad mm. people. And they don't report the truth. No, don't. And neither does CNN. Mm. And neither does That's a lot right. of the media. But yeah. so Van Jones is on. I say to my wife, this is going to be great to watch. Let's watch this. He's going to be so nice to us because without me. So he wanted to thank the Reverend Al Sharpton. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, and then he went through, through a list of many people. He mm. went to a list of many. He didn't yeah. mention your name either. He did not mention Angela. He, he didn't did mention not. anybody. Was not. But, yeah. but, and by the way, maybe people in this room, maybe he wasn't aware, maybe, you know. But he went through a list of people that I never heard of. Yeah. And he said, at the end, it was the end of a show, which I think nobody watched, because I don't think, is the show still on? I don't think so. But it was <laughs> the end of a show. And he's thanked a whole lot of people. I said to my wife, he never thanked me. It's my bill. That's why I talk that's about it. Right. You know why? Because right. if right. I don't talk about it, yeah, nobody will right. know. They'll take credit. I said to my wife, yeah. nobody could have done it. President Obama could have done it. He couldn't do it. Bush yeah. couldn't do it. Nobody, nobody could do it but me. I got it done. I'm good at getting yes, things. Yes, 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 you are. Yes, yeah. that's right. right. You're good at things. I'm good at things. He's good at football. This guy is good at things. I never want to follow him speaking this way. Right? That's got But I got it done. And he didn't mention my name. But I'll tell you what he did do. At the end of the show, he mentioned all these names. And then he said, now look, we have one thing we have to do this year. 
We have to defeat this President of the United no, States. No, we didn't. And you go out, and we have to defeat this President of the United oh, States. I never God. forgot it. Yes. That was a few months ago. I will That's never forget it. It's yeah. a yeah. right. great so memory sad. of all time. Yeah. yeah. I will never forget that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it was bad and very, very, it right. was very that was right. terrible. Mm -hmm. Not mention my name was bad. Yep, yep. It's not mm -hmm. that I want, I get enough publicity. Mm -hmm. But you know what? This was an important thing. No. Yeah. 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 To my yes, family, it was an important thing. Yes. Yes. I mean, this guy worked so hard yes. 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 on getting that done, and he didn't even mention, or your name, by the way, mm -hmm. but wow. he didn't mention our name. We were like nothing. Yeah. We were like nothing. Mm -hmm. And I know how some of you feel. You do things yeah. and you don't get mentioned, okay? But yeah. just the same thing. But then, on top, the indignity of I'm saying, we must now focus on not one thing. We must defeat this president of the United the States. And then the show ended. My wife oh, said, Jesus. that wasn't too good, was it? <laughs> oh, it's a disgrace. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I just want to thank everyone. You're very special people to me, and I really do appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you. And all this, you know, these stars, I hope you're making a hell of a lot. <laughs> Because I'll lose billions of dollars. I'm doing, I lose a fortune between what I don't do and what it costs me. You know what my legal fees are? Mm. Tens of millions oh of dollars. Yeah, not fair. Yeah. My, I spend tens of millions of dollars on legal fees, wow, wow. defending myself against scum. Yeah. Because right. scum. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. And then they say I get rich on this. If a man from an Arab country goes into one of my hotels, yeah. they say Trump is getting rich. Oh, yeah. They don't realize I don't even take foreign But if somebody gets in. You lose billions of dollars, but if a person rents a hotel for room for 300 bucks, it's like <laughs> yeah. a major event. Yeah. These are very dishonest people. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, out of all of this, the press will become much more honest. Yeah. honest. Wouldn't that be great? Honest. No Wouldn't that be great? Honest. Honest. Yeah. 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 And if they do, we have achieved something that will be great. But we have our own press. That's right. Our press yeah. is the internet. Our press is, the internet. Our yes. press is yes. being with you. Our yes. press is... As much as they hate all of us, I guess. Yeah. But they can't put the cameras down. Although I did, I did notice the one that did leave was was uh, NBC, which is pretty pathetic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go into another room. We're going to celebrate because we have yeah. a whole group. Yeah. 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 I want to thank the people at this table. You've been so incredible. Yes. And yeah. beyond this table, where is she? Yeah. Yeah. Katrina. Katrina. I don't know what happened. What happened. She's, yeah. she's so Congress. great. Thank yes. you, honey. Yeah. I'm yes. pointing at you. I'm, these big guys are standing right. These great yeah. photographers are in front of you. Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President. But I want to thank you all because you've been fantastic. Yes. Can we all say a prayer? Which you you? Say yes, go ahead. One second. May I just say one thing? That you did ask four years ago, what the hell do we have to lose? Right. But if we don't vote right this time, we're going to have a hell of a whole lot to lose. That's yeah. right. I right. just want to say that. Right. So vote right. right so, so you, you won't get left. You're going to have a lot. You're yes. Have a lot. This could be overturned lose. easily. Yeah. We it's need that happen. four years because, yes. you know, yes. I say it's like yeah. a tree. Four more years. Yeah. Yep. You plant it, it, but it takes a while to yeah. grab root. That's right. When this grabs root, yes. they're not going to be able to destroy right. this. That's right. Four more four years. Years. Right. 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 I don't want to interrupt, but I got to say this because this is Black History Month. Man, you the first black president. <laughs> 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 Still president of the United yeah. States. Absolutely. That's good. 100%. We go over there and stand behind. Can you excuse me, sir? Can we get out? We kind of might be locked in. Here we come. Here we come. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Oh God, for this group holding up the arm yes, Lord. of this president, oh God. Yes, Lord. A president who cares, oh God, not just for black folks, yes, Lord. but for every American, oh God. We pray his health. Yes. We yes. pray his strength, oh yes. God. We thank you, oh God, by the power of your Holy Spirit yes. that you're protecting him. Yes. You're protecting his family. Yes, and you're filling him, oh God. Yes. And we thank you for what you have done and what you have yet to do yes. through this your vessel. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you.
going over now. Yeah, uh, we're going over to the issue. Yes, what? Are you going to mortgage this in Dallas Well, I think the press has uh, been uh, really uh, out of line. And I think they're also very worried that, you know, we're going to be running against somebody and they see these characters up on stage and, you know, anything can happen in an election. And they see these people, and if any of these people ever did happen to assume the presidency, you would have a crash like you've never seen before. That's right. That's right. And I think the market's also putting that into the equation. Uh, but the virus, we're doing a very professional job. We have the best people. Our vice president is working very hard. We have tremendous people involved. And uh, we're doing, as I said, we're at 15 people, and they're getting better. We have one that's quite ill. Uh, got them late, and uh, but we have... Uh, a country that's pulling together and pulling together really well. I think the Democrats should not try and make this, or the Republicans should not make this a political issue. This is above politics. Uh, again, we closed the borders very early. We didn't let certain regions of the world come in. By doing that, we really saved a lot. We made a great decision, took a lot of heat over that decision, but it turned out to be the right decision, and that's why we're at 15 and other places have many more. So I just want to thank you and thank the media, too. Thank you very much. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here at Golden State Times. If you guys liked our coverage, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you share it on social media and you let us know what was the best part of uh, President Trump meeting with African-American leaders of social media, news media and other outlets let us know which it was the best part in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel and you want full and complete coverage of the president without no exceptions, 365, 24-7, then we encourage you to subscribe and click that notification bell. We will keep you up to date on everything that goes on in politics, the White House, the Congress, State Department, Pentagon, everything. We cover everything here at Golden State Times, so we hope that you join the family. If you missed any of President Trump's earlier speeches, they should be coming up on your screen. Click on them. They're interactive. They'll take you to the video you might want to watch. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you share it on social media. We hope that you guys join us here at Golden State Times for President Trump's rally tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, President Trump has a rally. So make sure you guys join us live here at Golden State Times. Thank you so much, folks, and we'll see you very soon. Peace.